I think that the main focus has been on addressing a, an area or segment of the market that has been uh, you know, under, under service by Mentor as a company generally. And that's a market segment in the middle of the traditional um, industry definitions of the marketplace, if you like, for an engineer that we're calling like the independent engineer. These are guys that uh, you know, either work in you know, alone, uh, completely autonomous, or maybe in a very small work group, or even within a large enterprise, but off what I call the enterprise grid. So they might be working on prototypes, special projects, so they're not typically using all of the enterprise infrastructure. The individual, is that the same as the generalist that's kind of being the new word that's been thrown around for the, you know, that double E that's doing lots of different things, not just tied into schematic design, not just the back front and back end stuff, but, you know, doing more of the whole flow. Yeah, that's the same guy. And uh, we've also referred to it as uh, the tall, thin engineer okay. as well. Right. So we've got these guys that used to be tool specialists, mm -hmm. you know, you, and they operated in silos. You had a, a you know, front-end design creation specialist, the logic engineer. You had somebody doing PCB layout, and that's what they focused on. Maybe a uh, analysis and verification specialist who did the thermal and the high-speed analysis. Somebody else for prepping the design for manufacturing. But now these, these engineers have to take more responsibility for a greater part of the design process. So they end up doing more and more of the, of the actual design work. There's a you know, clear differentiators between the standard, standard plus, and the professional. And I think, you know, one of the perceptions from customers in general is they've always, uh, you know, kind of seen pads as a, uh, as a product versus a brand. And, and it's really always been a brand and not a product. Is that fair? I think that's fair. And I think most, most people, most customers, regardless of the, of the software vendor they use, um, they become familiar with a tool set and, and they associate it with that name, regardless whether it's a brand, it's, it's PADS layout, it's, it's Expedition PCB, it's, it's whatever it is. And I think they, they, they focus more and associate with that name of the product, not necessarily a brand in as such. So what we try to do here is, is relaunch um, the PADS solutions as a whole. It's a brand because it's more than one product. It's not just PADS layout but there are two or three different uh, levels of functionality now.